I am Akshat. Welcome to my new channel Tech Help. And today we are going to discuss how to calibrate your display colors and brightness. So this is a pretty important issue faced by many gamers out there. They say that they find a particular tinted graphics on their monitor. So this will help you adjust that to quite some extent. So what you need to do is that if you have an Intel chipset, that is the primary adapter is an Intel graphics card. Just right click, go to graphics properties. And if you have AMD, you can select the Catalyst, Vision or Crimson, whatever you have. And then go to display and then the color settings. You can find out the equivalent for an AMD graphics card. So here you go. You have the colors adjustment for brightness, the contrast and the gamma. So make sure you select this tab because these are for the individual colors and we want to adjust the display as a whole. So you can select sample 3 for better view of the colors out here. Now for in order to adjust this you need a reference right. A reference for what is the perfect setting. So that reference will be provided by this application which is there in windows by default. Type DCCW. I repeat DCCW. So this will take you to the display color calibration. So you can find you can know more about it over here by clicking on this link. Now just click on next next again now here you go this is the first step where you have to adjust your gamma so gamma this what gamma is is actually defined out here and these are the three settings if the gamma is too high the dots seem to be too grayish if the gamma is too low the dots seem to be too white and if your gamma is perfect the dots are perfectly matched with their surroundings you can see there's no dots out here so just click on next and there you go you have the gamma just out here the dots are pretty visible at the moment so let's try to just if it's not clearly visible and yeah the dot seems to have faded away yeah that seems to be more or less perfect okay the dots are not visible really at the moment so yeah this is okay now click on next once you have adjusted according to your own eyes just click on next now Next is the brightness and the contrast controls for your display. Don't skip this. This is the most important part. Just go on next. Now here you see it's defined what exactly brightness is and then what is the perfect setting. This is a reference. So if it's too bright, the X is clearly made out. If it's too dark, you can't differentiate X and this suit at all. And if it's good brightness, you will be able to just make out this X out. I don't know if you're being able to see in the screen recorder, but I'm just being able to differentiate it out. Anyways, just click on next. This is a reference. So let's make X a bit more differentiable. Just increase the brightness a bit. And yeah, that seems to be fine. Yeah, so you can see the X is a bit differentiable with respect to this suit and this background. So that should be okay with it. Now just click on next. Now this is the tricky part, adjusting the contrast. To adjust your contrast, you can see there are three references. If the contrast is not enough, you'll see a milkish tint to your display. And if it's too much contrasted, then you'll see that the shirt's color and this background color matches out. So you can't make out this edge and the creases of the shirt. There are a few creases on the shirt. If you are adjusted to good contrast, so just click on next and now adjust the contrast a bit. So you can reduce the contrast a bit. Yeah, now the creases are pretty much differentiable. Okay, so that's pretty much done for me. You can adjust it according to your view. Now just click on next. Now this is the most important part, the neutral gray. Now I've heard in many games you get a bluish tint, especially in GTA 5, you get a bluish tint to your screen. And when you see videos of high graphics on YouTube, you see that the colors are pretty much vibrant. So they use some kind of mode such as sweet effects or something like that. I don't know exactly, but I tweak my settings with this native application only. So you can see this is a gray scale. So what you need to do is that you need to achieve a perfect gray, neutral gray out here. The gray should not be too reddish, too greenish or too blue. So you can adjust the colors not from here but instead the color adjustment bars are provided in the next step by windows itself. So you can see this is the gray scale. So if you want just reduce the bluishness of my screen a bit. Uh, yeah and then the reddishness a bit. Seems to be too bluish at the moment. Yeah and the greenishness a bit more. So avoid the reddish color. It seems a bit too frustrating on a display. So this seems to be pretty fine. Right. All right. So once you have adjusted it according to your own view, just click on next, reduce the reddishness a bit. That seems to be a pretty much 
adjust it for me yep that seems to be neutral so now click on next and that's it you are done so now in order to adjust the clarity of the text that is shown on a display you can use clear type tuner so just finish it there you go what is clear type it makes a text uh, that you see on a screen sharper clearer and easier to read so just click on next this is a current display which is set to the native resolution just click on next and there you see you will get two text samples you can select the one which seems to be more clear to you this seems to be more vibrant to me so i'll click on next and you will see that basically the one which you have selected in the beginning will be the most vibrant of all the four samples that will follow so let's click on next you can view if you want to and then this next and that's done so that's all you need to do so if you go to advanced settings you can adjust the saturation and everything the saturation is basically the how saturated your color is so you can see it's pretty too bright at the moment so just read it this a bit and yeah that seems to be okay so that's it just apply the settings and you're done so thank you guys for watching my video do like comment subscribe to my channel thank you for your patience if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment sections below i have provided a brief description in the description of my video so you can watch it if you don't understand what i have said in the video thank you for watching guys peace out